introduction to public procurement, the legal aspects of public procurement, contracting for public sector services. These are perfect. These resource guides are the perfect size to put my monitor right here at eye level. That's awesome. Oh, and you know what? It's, I've got a lot more space now on my bookshelf for this picture of my dog. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Mm. Sit. Stay. Whew. Man, I can't believe you've made it through the entire week. I think that it's amazing that all of you are trying to find better ways to do your jobs while I'm back here trying to find easier ways to do my job. So you know what? Do you a favor. I'm going to leave you with a little bit of advice. Find shortcuts. Mm -hmm. You know, personally, I find that many people around here don't think I've got a lot of credibility for doing my job. I know, right? That's why I got one of these. An Albert H. Hall Award is going to let people know that I know what's going on. I mean, of course, this isn't a real one. But the folks at the trophy shop, they were more than happy to whip this little baby up for me. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I guess to make room for this, I'm going to have to clear up some more of those training manuals off the bookshelf. And yeah, yeah, a little more for you, too. More room for you. Come on, boy. Let's go. Come on. He can't even spell the word certification. He loves the pace of bureaucracy. He believes that the old way of doing things is just fine. He is the world's worst public procurement professional. I don't always delay awarding contracts, but when I do, <laughs> I really enjoy it.